After more than two weeks of an intense Olympic Games in Paris, it is hardly surprising that tens of thousands of spectators are filling the stands for the numerous activities happening throughout the city. However, a number of well-known individuals are using their VVIP status to secure some of the hottest tickets in town, drawing almost as much attention to the sports on show as the athletes themselves. While some celebrities, like NBC's Snoop Dogg, are attending the games in an official capacity, others are just there to witness historic events, like the USA winning the gold in artistic gymnastics as a team or Leon Marchand's valiant performance in the pool. However, which major celebrities were there in the first week? Following her francophonic rendition of Amon Truck and Plumes to inaugurate the Saint Side opening ceremony in Paris, the American pop star reverted to supporting another red, white, and blue squad. She even donned Squad USA Olympic gear while attending various events. The A-star is born actress captured a video of Simone Biles' perfect beam routine from above during Sunday's women's artistic gymnastics all-around qualifying, which she later shared on Instagram. She did a fantastic job, what a privilege to be so near. Gaga posted, crying emoji, US flag emoji, to which Biles responded with a barrage of red heart emoticons. Gaga was also there at the swimming competition on Sunday at the La Defense Arena, supporting several of her countrymen, such as Nick Fink, who shared the silver medal with Adam Peaty of Team GB in the men's 100-meter breaststroke. The Kardashian-Jenner Sion is an enthusiastic sports lover who has visited the French city on prior occasions to watch several Paris Saint-Germain games. It goes without saying that the model was eager to secure tickets for what is likely to be one of the most exciting events for Team USA supporters, the women's individual all-around artistic gymnastics final. Jenner witnessed Simone Biles create history by becoming the oldest woman to win a gold medal at the Olympics in her discipline and the first to win one again at an Olympics without winning consecutively. She did it in the stands alongside basketball players Devin Booker of Team USA, Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, and a sporting great, only a few meters away from her ex-boyfriend. Zinedine Zidane was in the grandstand at the Bercy Arena, perhaps supporting her French-born Algerian gymnast Kalia Namour, who placed fifth, following her spectacular performance in the opening ceremony. Snoop made a brief appearance before the games began, carrying the Olympic torch through the streets of Paris. Since then, he has made a name for himself as an NBC Olympic special correspondent and, as the US network put it, their ambassador for happiness in the French city. The rapper used to co-host a highlights show during the Tokyo Olympics for the broadcaster, but since taking on a larger role in Paris, he has collaborated with several legendary athletes, including Michael Phelps and Billie Jean King, on both special pre-recorded segments and roving commentary. Snoop has participated in fencing, judo, skating, and tennis. He also secured a place to witness Team USA advance to the women's artistic gymnastics all-around team final and saw Rafael Nadal and Carlos Alcaraz, Spain's legendary doubles duo. The 52-year-old supported the highly accomplished gymnast and her teammates by sporting a personalized Simone Biles t-shirt. However, she also gave Coco Goff a special item of clothing when she shared a photo of her limited-edition Snoop Olympic pin on social media on Monday. The hitmaker was among several American celebrities present at Sunday's artistic gymnastics all-around qualifying event, including her Wicked co-star Cynthia Erivo. Following their attendance at the opening ceremony, where a host of celebrities graced the arena, Grande and Irivo welcomed American Vogue editor-in-chief Anna Winter and director Baz Luhrmann to the Bercy Arena. There, they witnessed Simone Biles and Suni Lee secure their spots in the all-around individual finals, along with the booking of individual apparatus finals by all four USA gymnasts. Natalie Portman, a longtime sports enthusiast and one of the owners of the women's football team Angel City FC in Los Angeles, was also present on Sunday. Maybe with that in mind, the Oscar-winning actress had a brief conversation with an unexpected friend, FIFA president Johnny Infantino, prior to viewing the suspenseful championship game. It was extraordinary to see the US women's gymnastics team earn the gold medal with absolutely spectacular performances, Portman wrote on her Instagram stories after posting a picture of the event and praising the participants for their message of equality. I appreciate the beauty and inspiration you've provided. Hashtag every own follows to women's sports. Nicole Kidman was also a familiar sight at the Bercy Arena, she was there with her two daughters, Faith and Sunday Rose.
When the Moulin Rouge diva visited Paris, she also observed skateboarding. The five-time French Open winner returned to Roland Garros to watch Novak Djokovic's second-round match against Rafael Nadal on Philippe Chatrier after appearing in the Olympic Flame Relay. In what may be the final match between the two tennis titans, the three-time Olympic winner was seated next to Bill Gates to watch Djokovic destroy the Spaniard, 6-1, 6-4. Williams also went to the swimming lesson on Sunday night. On Tuesday afternoon, she and previous champion Michael Phelps watched the women's artistic gymnastics all-around team event final. Williams wrote on a video that her daughter Olympia had uploaded on her Instagram stories, we're at the gymnastics having a good time, yay. It's so crazy that I keep forgetting to film Simone, Suni, and everyone else. The 28-time Olympic medalist is another American celebrity covering the games for NBC. She has traveled to witness the U.S. golfers and the undefeated women's artistic gymnastics team. It should not be surprising, then, that Phelps has been closely observing the action in the pool at the La Défense Arena and has been focusing especially on the rising French star Leon Marchand. On Wednesday night, Marchand made history by being the first swimmer since 1976 to win two gold medals in a single session. Phelps had earlier stated that he was thrilled about Marchand's progress rather than alarmed by it. It seems like nobody thought I could do the things I was attempting to do. Phelps stated on Tuesday, but I did, deep down inside, and it's the same thing for him. Many people said that my records will never be broken or left unbroken, but that is obviously untrue and I adore it personally. The Top Gun, Maverick star hopped about the first two days of the games after securing a seat at Friday's opening ceremony. At the Sunday Swimming and Artistic Gymnastics competitions, Cruz was among the throng of celebrities in attendance. He watched the latter while sat by Barbie filmmaker Greta Gerwig, and he left quickly to head back to London following an action-packed weekend. The Rolling Stones frontman, a passionate cricket fan, was an unexpected sight in the Grand Palais throng. Together with his seven-year-old son Devereux, Jagger traveled to the French capital to see the fencing competition's first day at the renowned location. The co-founder of Microsoft saw Biles and company win gold in Team USA's thrilling final on Tuesday from a captive audience. He has also been watching a number of tennis matches at Roland Garros. The billionaire tech magnate witnessed the gold medalist from Tokyo 2020, Alexander Zverev, defeat John Munar in the opening round. A few days later, he was seated in the hot seat as Djokovic defeated Rafael Nadal. However, Gates had another reason to be in Paris well into the following week, he was there to assist his son-in-law, who was competing in the games this year. As a member of the Egyptian jumping squad, Nail Nasser will start his Olympic career on August 5 at Versailles, the site of the equestrian competitions, riding Coronado. In 2021, Nasser wed Jennifer, the daughter of Bill Gates, and the couple recently revealed they are expecting their second child together.